This is a $10,000 a night airplane hotel on the side of a cliff. I also rented a $1,000 a night luxury villa, an $800 a night Ritz Carlton suite, and more. I'm going to spend the night in all of them, starting with a $1 a night bed. For $1 a night, you can rent one of these bunk beds right here that even has a privacy curtain. Here's a full room tour. It's a bed, that's it. Oh, it's actually pretty comfortable. But the best part of this place, there's even a swimming pool here. For $1 a night, this is actually way better than I was expecting. On to the next. For $100 a night, you can get a beautiful beachfront hotel room with a balcony and pool and ocean views. Look at the size of this balcony. <laughs> And as incredible as this place is, the next hotel is when things are really taken to the next level. There are a lot of monkeys at this hotel. You're not supposed to make eye contact with them or they might attack you. This is just the beginning though as each room gets crazier and crazier as we go. $200 a night gets you a dome hotel in the middle of the jungle with your own private pool. And don't forget the... I was gonna say, and don't forget the swing, but I think I am gonna forget the swing. The dome itself is made out of plastic, and inside there is a king size bed and even a beautiful bathtub. The workers were telling me this is one of the best spots to watch the stars at night. Oh, hello. We have a friend in here. In the name of research, I have to do a proper bed test. Oh. That's pretty hard. It's also about 150 degrees in here. So if the dome gets too hot, they also give you this enclosed villa with AC and another king size bed. So really you could fit four people here. I also really love this bathroom. Beautifully designed bathroom and shower. By far the coolest part of this property is not this hanging net. What's the weight limit on that thing? <laughs> The best part is this giant giraffe floating. This seems like a terrible idea. Oh. I'm gonna captain this shit. No! <laughs> no! A little turbulence! No! Whoa! Hey! <laughs> we ordered food from a local restaurant for dinner. The total for all of this, with three entrees, sides, drinks, seven dollars total. I love this country. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever had a floating breakfast. No better time than Bali. <laughs> There's something Bali. about eating food in a pool. <coughs> oh. <laughs> There's something about eating food in a pool that just makes it taste better. It's refreshing. It's also colder. And this breakfast was included in the stay. Mm. As incredible as this place is, it only gets crazier and better from here. And welcome to our $800 a night Ritz Carlton suite with our own private pool. It's locked. Right next to the pool, there's also this beautiful outdoor bath with bath salts and a loofah. <laughs> I have not used an outdoor shower in a long time, so that's gonna come in clutch. But my favorite part of the room is over here. Okay, check this out. I am mind blown right now. This is a motion activated toilet. And look at all these buttons. I don't even know how to flush this. Look at all the amenities. Hairbrush, shower kit, dental kit, mouthwash, nail file, cotton pad. We're all set there, bud. We only booked two nights, and we've been here for five minutes, and we're already saying we need to extend this room. I think I might be here for three. <laughs> Would you like to join me? <laughs> Guess it's time to finish this one up. I'm happy. I think I need to break it in. They also gave us this bowl of fruit. This is a fruit I've never seen before. It's called snake skin. So obviously I need to try it. it. Tastes like a pineapple. And this pool, which basically looks like Gardens by the Bay in Singapore. 
and a beach because we're on the ocean. Not only do we have our own private pool, there's also this big infinity pool as well. In the morning or the afternoon, uh, in the five or four o'clock, the monkey coming, they smell some food, it's already come. Be careful. Very wild. Oh, oh this thank is the, you. Smells good, right? Yes, it smells amazing. Yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah. Thank you. Excuse me. How, is it, how does it look? Um. We were just given a Balinese blessing in the form of traditional hat and flowers. We have room service and are sitting by our pool. I don't know how it gets much better than this. It's really fun to see how far we've come to, especially the last time we were in Bali. We were living off of like $30 a day. Like what a blessing it is that we're here. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> This might be the best breakfast buffet I've ever been to. You just pick your own fresh fruit that they have sitting right there, and then they cut it up for you. They have watermelon, oranges, bananas, literally anything you can think of. I think this is enough food for about 10 people. I mean, we were nervous. They were closing, they were taking away everything. So you and I were grabbing food for each other, and then we ended up all just getting the same things. You got it all right in time. Cheers. Cheers. Making a fish tour. Welcome to our $1,000 per night villa. Right when you walk into this place, it feels like something straight out of a home magazine. There's a palm tree in the middle of our home. There's a freaking pool in the middle of the house. That's definitely a first for me. We've only been here five minutes and this is already one of my favorite places we've ever stayed. Over on this side there is a big beautiful kitchen and then if you cross the bridge, you make it to the living room. But by far the best part of this villa <laughs> is this see-through pool. I actually shouldn't say that yet because I have two surprises for you that might be better than this. What the heck could that be? <laughs> Surprise number one is on the way. So before it gets here, let's have a look at the rooms. Ha-cha-cha. -cha. Could I wake up to every morning? He's also looking at what he wakes up to every morning. This villa has four bedrooms. Each bedroom is the same. Here's what we've got to offer. Got a massive king-size bed, a desk, a little hanging closet. This way, We've got our bathroom. In the bathroom, you've got your sink, your toilet, your shower. Outside of this, you got your outdoor bath. This is just so freaking serene. And then back inside, you've got a rocking chair and a television. I'm telling you, this right here is where it's at. The details in this villa are absolutely beautiful. Everything's got this beautiful modern touch with a little Balinese sprinkle on top. And then my favorite part of this bedroom is the pool greeter. And you might think to yourself, what the heck is a pool greeter? Good morning. Look at that pool greeter. This is for when you wake up and you don't want to walk all the way to the pool. <laughs> Step outside the room, go for a little morning dip. Here's the result of my cannonball. The entire kitchen table is drenched. I'm <laughs> There's only one problem with this villa. There's no gym here, so we're gonna have to get creative. Okay, what did you have in mind? Please don't tell me it involves like running around the villa. Oh my gosh, it's an obstacle course. <laughs> Come here. I call this jumping across the pool. No. <laughs> This could be one of my worst ideas yet. Wait, this was in our vows, remember? I told you if, I would tell you if things are a bad idea or a good idea. This is a bad idea. <gasps> <laughs> I actually didn't know if I was gonna make it, but now I'm confident. You're setting a terrible example for your son. <laughs> the stair stepper. What? <laughs> Put your leg on the couch, you ding dong. What is wrong with you? No, no. Yeah. Okay. That's good for now.
final challenge is to swim end to end on this pool in one breath. Are you ready for your first surprise? Yes. <laughs> we have an on-demand masseuse. Amazing. Thank You're getting you. a massage today. Thank you. I'm so excited. Hello. Uh, <laughs> How's that feel? Okay. I could get used to this every day. While you were getting your massage, surprise number two arrived. Come with me to the kitchen. Say hello to our very own hello. private chef. Hello. It smells so freaking good in here. Chef, this looks amazing. Thank you. Looks good. This is my first time ever having a private chef, so this is a special experience for me. Chloe's had many before. Oh. <laughs> we have a feast, we have mm. soup, we have salad, what? vegetables, garlic soup. Oh my gosh. Good. We have chicken, pork, beef, and salmon. There's just something fun about having a chef in your house cooking for you, but then also eating right next to a pool. The mushroom sauce that goes on the chicken, and finally, the $10,000 per night private jet villa. This is a fully renovated jet that has been turned into a hotel. Well, almost, it's still under construction. I booked this place about four months ago and it was supposed to be done and ready by now, but yeah, not quite. So here's what it's going to look like. The Boeing 737 was retired in 2014 and transferred up to the top of this cliff in Bali. There will be a master suite in the old pilot's cockpit, a dining room in the cabin, and even a separate guest suite next to the plane. The best part has to be this wing that you can walk out on and get the most epic views of the Indonesian coast. Kind of cool to see the actual engines and wheels from the original jet. This right here is going to be the world's coolest infinity pool overlooking the ocean. Let me know if you come and stay here so I can experience it with you. I'm actually really sad I don't get to stay here. It looks so amazing. But I guess that just means I have to come back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.